Hey! <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to the Youth Ministry Garage, episode 212, and we started the show just on time. Doug Fields here, to my right, Matt McGill, uh, ex-youth worker. <laughs> to my left, Katie the Queen Edwards, Sorry, and the co-host, Josh Griffin. Hi, yo there, neighbor. We got, we got Matt, here's, here's to our team catching up, we got Matt a half hour late. Oh. All of us are hungry. We've got the munchies. Kathy just brought out food. All kinds of crazy things are going on. Seth, actually, he's been here almost a year. It was actually funny today. Very funny. Yeah. Super funny. Brought us eating humor ones. Uh -huh. So, we got a lot of stuff happening. Big news, big announcement. Who wants to make it? Um, I don't remember Ow. what the news was. Katie looks surprised. <laughs> it's the one thing we talked, the only thing we talked about before the show to see if you were going to be here that I weekend. I never know. Sometimes there's other surprises yeah. I don't know yeah. about Sometimes yet. Sometimes I'm getting fired again. <laughs> I'm surprised Matt still has a job this week. Here's the big announcement, ladies and gentlemen. Ready? PDYM, uh, <laughs> that's 10 years ago. <laughs> Talk with Salad Fun. Mm. We are, we are on the dates. March 18th. March 18th? And 19th. And 19th. Are you positive? Okay. It, no, it's not March. May. It's May. But May. 18th we, and 19th. Mm. <laughs> May 18th and 19th is we are doing We're gonna a hang out. youth ministry garage yeah. behind the scenes deal. Now here's the deal. Gathering. The FAM conference. Conclave. Is Coven. like $199. I don't even know the price of it. $199. $199. Okay, the FAM Office. conference, which is going to be held at Azusa Pacific University mm -hmm. on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Yep. Oh, we, Azusa Pacific, yep, yeah, we are saying, hey, after the conference, let's hang out. So I'm down. You sign up for the FAM conference. Yep. And then for $19, that's all we're charging. We just made that number up. Love it. We're going to lose money. $19. <laughs> $1 an hour. We are going to hang. <laughs> no, it'd be like, dude, that's 75 cheap. cents an hour. There's, oh. Yeah. We are we are going to hang at. Cheaper than, cheap date. Cheaper than a dollar an hour. Think. We're going to hang at my house. <laughs> we're going to set up chairs in the garage. We're going to hang out in the garage. Huh? Have a couple meals. You're going to have to clean this garage. I know. That's the only bummer of the whole deal. Does the $19 include meals? No. No, I think we're going to do something in our house. Like we'll do, we'll do pizza like pizza or, pizza or something yeah. in the house. Yeah. So we're going to shoot an episode of The Garage. Well, I could make my mother's famous lasagna. We're going to hang out in the house. But here's what we're doing on Saturday. She's we're going to go to Saddleback. Mm -hmm. Visit junior high or high school, whatever you want. But okay. we're going to hang yeah. out afterwards and talk about it, debrief it. Why do you do what you do? Talk youth ministry. Yep. If we want to then go hang out, go to the movies. <laughs> yeah. Critique it. Xbox yeah. with Josh, yeah. whatever. Then Sunday morning... We're going to go to Mariners, where Matt used to work, but where I got fired. I have con I have contacts there still, um, but Matt built up this incredible youth ministry that we're going to go we're going to go see. We're going to talk it. about that. Love it. Everybody didn't think it was incredible. Well, <laughs> we'll talk well, about that. I don't know. But you left great people behind. Yeah, who I was you able to do that. Yeah. So trained and left. Yeah. We're going to do that, and we're going to talk about it. Then we're going to come over to our house, and we're going to shoot the podcast, eat a meal together, a whole bit. It's limited to, what we say, 50 people? Yeah. 50 people. So go to famconference.com and enter in, sign up for the FAM conference. Yeah, do it. And enter in the discount code YMG. YMG. YMG, because it'll be, by the time you hear this, it'll be, the conference will be more than $199. Mm -hmm. I'm sure the prices will have gone up. Yep. And it'll it'll charge you 218 Right? Yep. Seth? Yeah, that can happen. Okay. <laughs> we'll figure that out. Yeah. So anyway, that's the news. We've all got awesome. we've all got Saturday and Sunday blocked out. We're gonna have fun. I probably should ask my wife about that since we're at a conference uh, a few days. But you know what? No, right? she's at a wedding in Fresno or something like Perfect. that. Perfect. So she'll come back Sunday to a house full of youth workers. <laughs> all right. We can hang out at my house if we go to Mariners. Great. I don't know, you have a nice oh, house. But we gotta come over here and shoot the podcast in the garage. Oh yeah. What if we did it from Matt's garage? Nope. We wouldn't have the sponsor deals. Mm, yeah. yeah. Speaking of our sponsor, oh, thank you, you specialties. Youth Ministry 360, Azusa Pacific University, we are talking Leader about Tracks, that. and Remedy Live. All right. Okay. I'll give you I'll give one of you guys. These nuts are? I'll give one of you guys five bucks if you can tell me what the emphasis week is at Azusa Pacific. Brian emphasis oh, week. 
or brain brain week brain it? awareness week brain awareness oh. yeah really yeah I like missions better yeah no <laughs> brain awareness week yeah or like concussion no, good brain? I don't know I just took a picture and then took a picture of somebody who I said was Brian but it's not really Brian hmm. it's Nolan Hanslick Brian awareness week yeah it's, you know, I call it old person humor <laughs> that's interesting I mean you're a you're a dad at school yeah yeah basically grandpa right Ashley <laughs> Lehman <laughs> Ashley Lehman. Hey guys, Matt, sorry your position was terminated. No. They definitely... They're still you, saying that. Still saying that. Send your questions to youthministrygarage.com. They definitely lost out on the future no. of the church. Oh. Just go with it. Go Website. With it. Sorry, I thought you gave the email address again. I'm just a little... I'm not on my game right now. I, well, yeah, get on we had traffic. We waited for about an hour for you to time I've drawn so. out here this week. It's just... I'm a little rattled. Thank you. <laughs> That's all I knew. Ashley Lehman, here we go. My name is Ashley Lehman. You know what's funny hmm. is many of the emails being sent in, people are actually now pronouncing their names. Oh, that's because you're a hackathon. I know. Oh, what? Ashley's from Millersburg, Pennsylvania. I wanted to tell that y'all are amazing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Y'all. Yeah. What would your advice be if you were leading a ministry and after two years of leadership, you began to see things that you have failed on in the past. Ugh. How do you go about making changes that may be thought of as drastic? Is it wise to make them all at once or take gradual steps to reach the wanted end result? Hmm. What have you done in the past? Any advice would be appreciated. Awesome question. I love it. I yeah, would say change is always science and art, right? I would say you're going to find things that you have failed on or didn't see or things that you succeeded in really well that have then come unspun and derailed and are, that now feel like a failure. So if you're seeing that, that's great. You have a new perspective. It's time to address those things. Yeah. Mm. So I would say, first of all, it's normal. What you're experiencing is normal. Even good things over time can kind of lose their vision, lose some of their impact. Sure. So, is that a law of thermo thermodynamics? There you go. Is it? What can break will? No. Nope. Everything's always going towards I don't know what that breaking is. down. Well, I think it, wrong? Well, there's a principle of leadership. With I actually, when I was at APU today, and I was talking with a youth worker there, and I said, we were talking about student leadership. Just talking leadership outside the Cougar Den? Just outside, outside the, the Cougar Den. It was Brain Week with my buddy Brian. So, but I was saying, you know, you can get student leadership going. And then you turn your back thinking it's going. Totally. And you go to now work on small groups or volunteers or whatever. And then two years later, you turn your back or nine months later and you go, boy, student leadership is broken again. Yeah. Mm. Or the next day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In True. Josh's case. No, dude. <laughs> I just fixed it. And then you're like, I fixed that last mm. week. And it just yeah, sure. breaks. Yeah. I would say you have to constantly be monitoring the health of, of your main initiatives. And if those things start to... You know, break. However, you define breaking, sure. it's time to change. Yeah, it's time to change, and the change might be you engaging. That would probably be enough in some areas, and other things need to be completely overhauled. Yeah. So well, it's. Oh, sorry, Josh. No. I think change too can come. There's times of the year where change. You know, when you're talking about when to make changes too, like once you kind of assess. Yeah. What needs change? You know, thinking about just those natural times in the year where change can be. You know, sometimes it seems like a big change to you, but it's small to your congregation of students or parents because, you know, for me, I have two grades. So when summer comes, it's a great time for me to make change because 50% of my group turns over and half of them, I'm only kind of acclimating it's half like of them street. to make change. I know, totally. <laughs> Junior high, so easy. So easy. Um, <laughs> but I mean, there but are times. Super easy. <laughs> there are times <laughs> in the year where change can work well. You know, the top of a new year, January or whatever, change doesn't seem as big. It just feels like a natural yeah. time to make changes. Good. Yeah, it's good. I think you gotta get lots of advice, you know, from whatever circle that you have around you and in the ministry. Um, you need to get advice, but you need to make the decision. I think you need to be decisive on your own. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there are some things that you have to, there are some things that you just are so critical that you have to make a change right away. Um, and there's some things that, obviously can wait and you prioritize sure. like you're saying yep. um, but realize that everything you change every change you make is going to have a, it's going to have a cost a toll and so because of that and this is what you've said over years and I still really haven't learned this um, <laughs> but is is that part of it 
always encouraging, always being positive, just knowing that at some point you're going to ask something from people and that's going to cost. But the other side with that too is that you always, if you're keeping in mind what it is that you want to change and where you want to go, you can plant seeds and always be just dropping little hints and this is where we're going and at some point we need to and you know there's there's ways to 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 start the the ball rolling on change without causing a lot of pain right away hmm. can i throw in one other thing yeah let me, i would let say me just pause for yeah, a second hold that thought sure. do we need to be concerned about that door being open and to our is. team members here's Very let's loud. it's it's Very march loud. and it's like 90 degrees out oh that's way better yeah um, so people are mowing their lawns. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit yeah. Slower, what's happening. I like it. it just went a little quieter, and I think yeah. for the first time, my wife turned on the air conditioner. That is incredible. Because mm. that was air conditioning. Happy, Happy March. Yeah. Happy March in California. Mm. Um, I'll just throw one this of the things. This would be a good time of year to come out for the GYM gathering or whatever we're doing. What is this? Garage? Youth Ministry Garage? Yeah. 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 Well, that's in May. Oh, May 18th and 19th. But that'll even be a better May? time. Is it, yeah. is it warm yeah. here in yeah. May? It's, it starts like May March, showers. March is 1st, it, it just becomes May incredible showers, paradise. May flowers. Yeah. All right. Here's May what I'm going to say. Flowers, when green. something is broken Pilgrims. and you're about to re-engage with it, do ask yourself this question too. Is it time for it to be done? Can we set it That's free? Fair. Can we stop doing this? Mm-hmm. Youth ministry, so often we add and add and add and add and add. And you're running from spinning plate and trying to keep everything going. And I think when a plate is wobbling or already crashed, it's a great time to go, you know what? For this next I season, <laughs> for this next season, we're not going to do X, Y, and Z. Mm-hmm. We're not going to do an event every Friday yeah, night. Yeah. We're going to go to once a quarter or we're going to stop. And you know, I don't know what that is exactly, but... I think we don't stop anything very well. So when something's kind of wobbling or done, maybe kill it. Yep. Great. Like this question. We got to move on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just it's to, not wobbling. No, just this is to, a good question. Good yeah. Question. It was a great question. We just. We, yeah. We, I don't know if it was great. We, definitely. No, not. It was really great. I, yeah. Ashley, way to go. Hey, um, <laughs> what do you have to give away? I have a downloadable copy of Vivid from our sponsor, Youth Ministry 360. Wait, if it's downloadable, why is it? In a, this is just for me to hold up and tell you what you'll be able to download because I'm going to. Just give this just a, viv- a vivid aid. visual. I'm gonna give this to myself. So right. Thank you. you. Have it. So what is it? What is vivid? <laughs> Where's that no, going? I don't know. I still got it right here. <laughs> what is it? Is that a magic <laughs> trick? <laughs> vivid is six got Bible six lessons, James? videos, PowerPoint, the whole bit. Um, it's a six lesson study on the book of James. Oh, yeah. I remembered so, that. Pretty good. Living a vivid. Faith. Youth Ministry 360 does great things. Unbelievable. Great things. They but are. it doesn't just look good, which... It is good. Honest, it looks honestly, good. It is I good. I was going to say, if you want cheap things, go to download Youth Ministry. If you want really good things, <laughs> go to That's Youth right. Ministry 360. I think, quali- I think our, our quality is is top-notch. I think they've got really good quality, too. Yeah. This but is their cool. stuff looks really good. Yeah. It is fun. I mean, I love downloading. I mean, I'm in charge of our But graphic. it is fun to have, like, a thing sometimes, too. Yeah. So, I, yeah. I get it. I get no, it. I just, Youth Ministry 360, use promo code YMG, get 10% off, too. Whatever oh, you buy. wow. <clears throat> that was free. That's not even on here. <laughs> Adam Schweitz know that. Good job. from German. Tigard, Oregon. I'm oh. sure I've hacked everything. Yep. Tigard. Um, I'm looking for resources to keep up with the current trends in Christian music that kids might actually like. I've been out of the music scene for a while now, and if I listened to what I like, they'd be listening to metal all the time. Perfect. (laughs) So you're talking McGill's language. Yeah, that's right. I remember when I was in a youth group and they played video loops of new music, but I don't know where to get my hands on anything like that. Yeah. What would you say? I'd say Interlink. Yeah. Interlink.com, subscribe to it. They send out new Christian music mm-hmm. all the time. Yeah, yeah there's a, it's actually a youth leader's packet it's pretty that cool. you can get. And you get Download a tour three or four times a year. It has a bunch of new albums and music yeah. and Bible study, everything related to music. Interlink has been around for a long time. Yeah. I think it's I-N-T-E-R-L-I-N-C C. or yeah, just, ends with the C. just Google it. It'll show up. Yeah. A couple other things just in passing. YouTube has... You could bing it probably too. <laughs> you could bing it for sure. Um, YouTube has tons it's of Microsoft Christian music videos YouTube. on it that you can download, rip, share, make a playlist of, whatever. Um, and iTunes has a top 10 in their Christian category, so actually a top 100. So if you want to see what songs are popular literally being downloaded in real time, yeah, iTunes top 100 will in the Christian and spirituality That doesn't include category. the Zune downloads, though. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that's correct. You're right. It doesn't. You're right. Just a couple of ideas. You're, you're trying to come back, aren't you? That was, no, just there's one step at a time. One bro. third of the people feet. listening to this are laughing right now. I guarantee. Well, because my yeah, humor is really funny. Yeah, it's perfect. very complicated. I would say one third of the people that you play to right. are listening. <laughs> so, 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 yeah. so literally so about one person. one thousandth of our crowd. <laughs> James Hompton from Millersburg, Pennsylvania. Oh, wait. Mm. We just had a Millersburg. Oh, no, no way. Look at this. Same guy? Are they from the same church? No. We've got Shippen Dam Road and North Street. Wow. From Whoa. Millersbrook, huh? There we go. Wow. First off, a network together. sorry to McGill for getting canned. <laughs> Glad to see you Me bounce too. back on your feet. Oh. And oh. friends, continue to start your questions <laughs> yes. about you, some comment now. about Matt being uh -huh. fired. Because if you do, it's there's great. a better chance of them being on the show. There's a better chance you'll win stuff. <laughs> Uh, I have two quick questions for you. The first is, what have you seen to be most successful in scheduling breaks, holiday, summer, for both large groups and small groups? The second question is, what do you do? Well, let's go to the first one. Hmm. Yeah, breaks. So, scheduling breaks like spring break. Yeah, Winter holidays break. and summer. Break We're talking Josh's like language. Ministry yeah. program. It's my life. I'm the, <laughs> I'm the least productive person in this country. But was that a bounce back? <laughs> That was uh, yeah. bounce back. No, that was similar. funny. That actually made me cackle. That yeah. was good. I give it a made six. you cackle the other day with something. What was that? I Some don't know. Text Christmas break. I think slow down. Turn it off. <laughs> I wasn't ready for it. <laughs> <laughs> and Easter, Easter and spring break. Crank it up. What a great week. It's awesome. Summer break. Crank it up. Yeah. You go busier in summer? Absolutely. I, I think summer ministry is summer. so great. No, very different. Different right. program, different offerings, right, 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 right. but it's it's great. So you're taking a break though in the summer from like regular small yeah. groups, kind of pro regular small groups and Letting stuff, the houses and doing a little bit different. Yep, exactly. Yeah, so a little bit more event stuff in the summer, and then Christmas is a is a downtime for our youth ministry, but it's a very up time for our church, and so we ride kind of the church. We we support that and are a part of that. And don't do a lot of youth group stuff around the holidays. You guys take a break once a month with worship together. Is that yeah, what they that's call true. It? Worship together weekend once it's a not month. Really a break. I mean, it's well, sort of a break, I guess, yeah. from our normal. We don't have youth killer. ministry. We don't have youth group once a month because we're <laughs> all going to church together. So that's a big. That's been a huge break. Yeah. Um, yeah. In a, in the momentum. So and basically in the summer, shut down small groups yeah. that meet in homes that are yeah. decentralized and meet together in the church. It's a different program, but it gives small group leaders a little bit of time off. It gives yeah. the houses a little bit of time yeah. off. And it fills some of that time that students, I mean, we, we ramp up some of that program yeah. stuff. For well, think, Do you guys do the same thing thinking, in junior high? I think thinking about your volunteers is a piece of this, of when are great break times for your volunteers and kind of thinking through <clears throat> excuse me, kind of thinking through when they need time off and when they breaks yeah. because we're so dependent on volunteers to to run most of the stuff that we're doing so you know thinking about events and small groups mm -hmm. and program stuff too and just kind of like okay when can I give what are the three times in the year that I can give my volunteers a great break or you know something like that that coincide yeah. with good family time I think you taught us that too a lot was to kind of think about when families were breaking together too and to not always necessarily schedule something on every single time off that we had so that not spring break, Christmas break, Thanksgiving, like didn't always have youth ministry stuff because thinking about families too. So I think thinking about families and volunteers in the break too of, you know, what works with them. Yeah. And that how really came into play when you wanted to do stuff with your family during those breaks. Maybe. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm just starting into that season right now, too. I, I think about my family when I'm thinking about the calendar because Dang, I, I, totally I have a junior just hire. To make so. a joke. No, not even I get it. No, I, I, I get that, but I kind of am like, I, oh, it's I President's it. Day weekend. Oh. Do I want to plan a retreat or do I want to mm. take a deep breath and then retool? Well, I'm thinking about those times that, like, okay, yes, this President's break, but yes. because we don't have anything at spring, you know, yes. kind yes. of be, having a balance. Or, or instead of spring break being an entire week, what if it is? three or four days of it so there's a both and there i mean i just yeah. think those are two important good, groups to good. think about when you're thinking about breaks too that's I good i think the devil doesn't take a day off why would we take one off because <laughs> wow. the devil's not my role model man. <laughs> <laughs> that's why. 
That's why. Uh, for, um, <clears throat> you, don't, you don't want to talk about it. Darren, <laughs> Darren. Quoting Doug Fields today. Is your every today, day. Today. 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 That's his well, life is quoting. Right. Every, 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 every change. Every thing coming out of your mouth. Every today, change is a withdrawal in your Every industry. change yeah. is a withdrawal. They love a lot. We can have the same <laughs> message. We have the same hair. I know. So, to our team, let me let you just know how my heart was wounded once by Katie that I won't tell you about. <laughs> oh, Katie. Okay. But I on an Instagram, Matt is Matt is a picture of Matt over his sister in a hospital bed. Which please be praying for my sister. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Have, have and will. That. Yep. And somebody writes on the Instagram, Matt, you look just like Doug Fields, and that it was yeah, awesome. That's what they grieved me. You're that, like, I mean, those are some of the greatest moments of my life because they're referring to me making some funny face. Oh, the show. Here we go, Darren. Chisholm from Gastonia, North Carolina. Please don't use my name. Hey guys, in January, <laughs> I got fired from my first youth ministry job after three years. Matt, if you, this guy got fired, yeah. you can pay attention. You, you're going to be able to relate Did to this Did you take guy. my phone? That was I got so fired mean. from my first youth ministry job after three years. My wife is pregnant and due in June. Oh, we have hey. a two-year-old son. We were interviewing different churches and we're struggling with wanting to be near family or taking a full-time position several hours away. What advice do you have for leaving my current church and deciding on a new church? Wait, I'm confused. He mm. got fired, you gotta let us but know he's when a serious church? question. They're all serious questions. Man. Well, well, that's more question. serious. Than, well, I mean, it's it's tough. I mean, he, do you want to get a job at Starbucks and stay near your family, or do you want to get a job doing your ministry and be far away? I mean, that's and maybe Starbucks is a little bit of a stretch, mm -hmm. but 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 maybe not. And that's a that's a question that really. I mean, you can. Beat well, we that can't. With we can't friend. answer for this this right. guy. But let's give yeah. our principles, like in deciding. So let me let me interrupt you, which I've already done. But no, you said that. when you got canned, which sorry. Yes, thanks. Yeah. Um, you. No, I didn't get canned. My position was terminated. Uh -oh. When you <laughs> when you <laughs> left, <laughs> for whatever reason that was, um, you said, <laughs> if I leave the area, family, friends, the whole bit, I want to move to a ten. A church yes. that's a 10 on a scale of 1 yep. to 10. But if I stay in the area, I wouldn't mind going to a, a church a season of where I'm considering it a 7. Right, right. And I thought, yeah, that's an interesting, you know, there's Matt, shoot for the stars, uh, <laughs> with a 7. No, but I think it is. But in all seriousness. Absolutely. I mean, I, I, mean that, I didn't want you to move. Right, and I didn't want to move either. And and the cool thing is that I really, and I, I mean... All, you, I think I landed at a ten. I mean, I think that That's really it's cool. It's a cool thing, but <laughs> I knew you were gonna give me crap. On, but I'm, I mean, I, I'm, I can't really. Buy it. It's amazing. A ten for you. Yes. Yeah. 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 No. yeah. That's great. Yeah. No, not for everybody. That's for sure. Uh, <laughs> but that was the. I'm thank you. I got no, but I, I mean the totally writing. It, but I like the it. Right. <laughs> this is a great podcast. <laughs> this is gonna go down as one of the best. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Four edit so far. Yeah. <laughs> this will be my fourth edit. I don't. I'll okay, just say so something else that we'll finish. have to edit it as long as we're editing. Yeah. So when it became clear that I wasn't that I wasn't fitting at Mariners or they weren't fitting with me, I wasn't fitting with them. Whatever you want to look at that is that to me it's like I had to go okay what are my criteria going to be as I move forward and so I looked at my passions and my skills and what have I done in the past and what do I like to do what am I good at you know so you take an inventory of of who I took an inventory of who I am and then thought about okay what kind of positions could I could I go for and and really work with and then I thought I really value you know this you know our friends and community and we got deep deep roots but but at the same time I wasn't going to stay here at all costs you know yeah. I mean I feel like um, I felt a strong sense of calling to ministry when I was in eighth grade and I feel like that's been the trajectory my life has been on the whole time I'm not going to sacrifice my kids and my marriage and you know I mean I'm not that you know driven or whatever you want to call that I'm not that you know but at the same time I'm not you know going to kick back and stay comfortable and and give in on principles that you know that I have McGill principles that are probably crazy when we get to heaven but but um so that was just kind of some of my thinking yeah it's good are those principles written down somewhere 
That's a good question. <laughs> Nobody That's knows great. the principles with him, <laughs> which is a little bit of the difficulty. I would so, say you have to know I've your. Got, I've got a journal I've read every day or a couple times a week since. I would say you have to know your distance <clears throat> tolerance. So if it's three hours, then that's you draw a circle around your family, and that is that is your search. Hmm. And if not, if, if you can't, it's very practical. It's helpful. It is. Good. I think I th- and I honestly think five hours is a really healthy, good, doable distance. So if you're like, oh man, it's five hours away. Yeah. I don't think that's terrible. That is a weekend. That is for a- you. For me, I'd yeah. say yeah, five yeah, hours yeah, yeah, is yeah, yeah. a very reasonable distance. Now, I happen to live 11 hours from my mom and dad, 21 hours from my wife's family. So our distance tolerance is obviously extremely high. Um, and I'm not saying by any means that's for everyone. And I think in different seasons, your tolerance can change, too. Yeah. When you have yeah. new grandkids yeah. or little kids, toddlers, mm. man, it, to be with family is so big. Yeah. How we're wired factors for, into for that. For some. Again, for yeah, some. Yeah. Because yeah. there is a it piece did. of this guy going, or anybody going, you know what, Jesus, take me wherever you want. Totally. I'll go wherever you want me to go. Love it. And then there's other people that say, Jesus, I feel so called to my family. Right. That I'm called to my family. And if ministry is kind of bivocational good, yeah. or I'm a volunteer yeah. or something, I mean, at some point you got to go, Totally. what am I called to? Right. You know, and am I called right. to... I mean, obviously, you you know, your family is before your ministry, but some people are more willing to go, you know, anywhere in the world. Yeah, yeah. I Love think it. it's a good thing that you said of just doing a self-assessment, you mm-hmm. know, of really sitting down and thinking about your calling and your passions and, yeah. you know, and allow that to, allow God to lead you through that. Because you might not not be able to do it, you know, to do right. ministry, you, you know, if that's really how you're wired and what God wants for you, then you got to go find it. And you make a decision and you decide in a year to change, then that's okay too. Totally. I mean, yeah. we you don't know. have to make the next decision, doesn't have to be a decision for the rest of your life. It yeah. can be just for the next season, and that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I have, I have, we, I have a friend that they moved, they moved back east to be with, you know, the parents. One family lives here and the other family lives there. It wasn't ministry related, but they moved. And we were literally there for eight months and, uh, you know, decided to move back. Yep. So. Yeah, I know, I know people like that as well. Yeah. Um, hey, let's do this. Why don't we see if Darren, if we could get him free. What we're we're free? just going to say we're going to get him free at the refuel retreat. Oh. And Darren needs to get his way out. You, Darren, you get your way out there, and I'll I'll get the leader treks oh, people yeah. to comp you. What if, and if so they don't comp you, then leader Katie treks, and I will They've pay for got you. this cool thing called the refuel retreat. It's in Keystone, Colorado. The dates being April seventeenth and nineteenth. Through the 19th. Not the 18th. You gotta go home. You gotta go. So you guys, so you guys yeah, gotta right. go refuel yourself. Eight, on the that's right. That's right. It's very cheap. Um, anyhow, there you go. All right. Let's so get away. And, and so get on refuelretreat.com. Yeah, yeah get on the website. The and they do this a couple times a year. So if if Darren can't go this time, maybe yeah. in the fall. go the next time. That'll be that'll be Leader Trek's gift. To you. Or just pay 19 bucks and come to the fam conference. <laughs> Seth can. Yeah. I actually thought you were going to give away one of our Youth Ministry Garage hang things that we were just. Oh. I thought you were going to say, come to the fam that's conference and come to our house. <laughs> but I like it, the leader truck. Yeah, Katie said that's only $19. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you that'll well. be better for you anyway. <laughs> no, that'd be way better. What a, what a gift that would be. Yeah, Love it. Yeah. I know. I it's priced to, to be affordable yeah, and know. offer you the opportunity to bring a spouse along. That's good. Oh, that's, that's good. Cool. Hey, yeah. speaking of. Training. Why don't you do yours? You. Our, our primary sponsor. Our primary sponsor. Primary. Yep. Which, which probably means we should lead with theirs. I yeah. thought about Seth, that. Yeah. But if I didn't you were really the executive producer of this. Yeah. Thing. No, you either want it to lead or be the last one. It's one of those. Oh, two. It's, it's, uh, yeah. so it could be the last one. Well, I've let's do it again at the end. You. Yes. The so, YS totally Unconference. It's a it's free totally event. True. YSUnconference.com. And you're taking your team. Next Thursday, we'll be in LLA. You're taking your team to that. This is where you find the locations, right? YSUnconference.com. Leaders are learners, bro. And the leader tracks. It doesn't flow off the tongue. (laughs) What's that? What doesn't flow? YSUnconference.com. 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 What makes it an unconference? It's not a conference. They're just trying to be trendy. 
taught what you? Is it? I haven't been yet. I've been hearing great things about it. It sounds like it's a, a lot of great conversation mm-hmm. versus like seminars and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like it. Mm-hmm. I like it a lot. Mm-hmm. Just talk and shop with your peeps, Matt. That's what it is. Yeah. Vincent Delgado so from DeSoto, Texas says, <laughs> I'm single, but I have a huge heart for, for young adults. I'm Being single. a college student myself and youth pastor, I see the great need to reach our young adults. I don't have the experience of several issues such as marriage and finances. Is it possible to lead young adults while being single? If so, how? Is that like college aged or like young adults? Yeah, what like is young? Young people? 20 to 30. When people say young people, 20. who are they referring to? <laughs> Well, well, you're saying, saying young, you're saying young, young adults. So is that young like adults. 25, 24, 25? Yeah, I'm saying 21 up. Whoever reads Stephanie Meyer, because that's the section in the bookstore. <laughs> the young adult section. Young adult section. <laughs> young adult fiction. Who reads Twilight? Who reads that? That's adolescence. Yeah, adolescence. now it's 14 yeah. year olds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. seriously. So there you go. <clears throat> I would say you always have the Bible as your authority, and there's a ton of principles in there about marriage and things that you don't have experience with. So yeah. you could certainly draw as that foundationally and I think use the people that you that are in your network that are in your community that are in your church hey speaking of marriage and not having experience with that we haven't even acknowledged there's a new pope can we talk about that <laughs> nope that was so uh, random <laughs> there is, is. Random? I haven't seen the white smoke yet you haven't no oh, came out after two <laughs> days <laughs> You. you could just put a conclave on it. Then. I had uh, I had white smoke humor at APU today, Mike. Did it work? You did. Yeah, half of them laughed. Some of them. <laughs> Some of the Baptists were like. You know what? When you're teaching, when you're teaching college students, I think some of my humor is a little. I mean, a lot of them laugh, but some of them are looking at me like I don't even know what you're talking about. It's a remedial ones. Well, when you're talking about record players, and Azusa, <laughs> they're like, I, I don't know. Record, yeah, eight track. Tapes. You mean the app, Vincent? Yeah. I think what we're saying is yes, you can. Um, yeah. Somewhere in the Bible, First or Second Timothy, let no one despise your youth. Yep. First Three Timothy. Twelve. Uh, First Timothy. Timothy. That study to show yourself. Five two. Where All right. This one I'm just throwing out numbers. So answer. move on. <laughs> um, so anyway, let no one just. Yes, you can be young. You need to surround yourself with wisdom. You need to surround yourself with other people. Um, you don't need to do all the teaching as it relates yes. to marriage and finances and some of those things you don't have experience with. Just say, hey, I don't have experience with this, so I asked this really old 26-year-old uh, to come in and, and talk about, <laughs> yeah. about Find finances. Find a great married couple who wants yeah. to serve in your ministry. Absolutely. Well, somebody who's financially Be creative, genius. too. It doesn't always have to be a talking head. Like, have a panel and text in questions sure. and testimonies. Or and, just fake it till you make it. <laughs> Here's how you have a great marriage from what I hear. Yeah. <laughs> or you could go to remedylive.com backslash issues and and find some curriculum on depression, eating disorders, or pornography. It would serve as a life. great small group discussion. You they could also text... They have a whole young adult section on their website. <laughs> they do. You could text YMG to 313131 and one lucky youth worker will win a Remedy Live t-shirt and $10 gift cards. And Does anybody ever do that, Seth? Do yeah. Uh-huh. Have? yeah. Is it once a year? We just no. <laughs> whenever, whenever we no. do it. Yeah. They then they. Oh no, wow. Cool. Cool. They all get one? No, no, no. They they pull a, a number. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I haven't won yet. So every I enter time we do every the time. announcement. That curriculum is really great. They're watching it. Have you awesome. been watching? Yep. Really That's good. Stuff. Dude, really I need to see if our if getting that into our small group leaders' hands would be helpful because we've had a. Deluge a string of really deluge? serious yeah. issues you could say coming deluge. out in our small groups right now. It is. Yeah. We had a huge one today that was so frustrating. What was yeah. it about? Ugh. Not those particular issues, but it was a <laughs> parent leader issue that was rough. A parent oh. who is a leader? Or a, uh, a, an parent, issue between a parent and a leader? An issue from between a parent and a volunteer leader, and I it was that. not uh, uh, a volunteer's wrong. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> I said volunteer's wrong. Just kidding. <laughs> Honestly, I think they were both a little bit wrong. Yeah, I'm just going to say it. I don't know anything about the situation, so just kidding. Hasn't kept you from commenting before. That's right. Levi Heron for Jefferson City, Missouri. Our student ministry has recently grown larger this year. On Wednesday nights, our Wednesday nights consist of both middle school and high school together for games, worship, lesson. Then we break into small groups. Is worship the singing part? Yeah. Okay. Um, we have reached over 120 students and are running out of rooms for small groups and sponsors to lead them. Just wondering where to go and what to do. Thought of splitting and doing different nights. Thought of doing away with small groups as well. But I know the importance of small groups. Any suggestions? Nothing better than a packed house. 
Love it. Overflowing people sitting on top. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't change it. Oh, uh, yeah. I would. I'm. I would probably work really hard to make sure that I don't have to get rid of my small groups. I would. I would ask um, some parents that I really thought were great with kids to say, would you come alongside and go through our process of becoming a volunteer and lead a small group to get us through the school year, you know, give them a few months in mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, chances are those parents would, you know, maybe go, oh, this was easier than I thought or better than mm -hmm. I thought or more rewarding than I thought and, and join you. But um, I think that you can always, you can always find places to put small groups on your church property, you know, I mean, you just have to be, you have to be creative, whether it's, you know. Janitor's closet. There you go. Baptismal. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you want to say one time? Don't yeah. do away with small groups. I mean, don't, I just. Yeah, don't yeah. Well, do you, is there I any way to decentralize that, it as well? Yeah. Take it off the church property if you have to. Um, I think some of that like growth is probably being deal. contributed to from small groups and the relationships being formed and stuff. And that's I think okay. you're you're going to continue to grow probably. So I think that's something to think about. If small groups remain strong and that, those relationships, I think it's going to probably explode more. So yeah, I don't know. I think we always have to, as leaders, we have to we have to be ready to scale. So anytime you make yep. a decision that we're going to go to small groups or we're going to move our Wednesday night or we're going to break up junior high and high school on different nights, I think mm -hmm. it's it's responsible for us to pull back and say, okay, let's... What happens if it's successful? Yeah. yeah. Let's go... What happens if want, it explodes? Maybe we're not ready to change because if it does explode, we're going to be, you know, then we have to reinvent something. So can we do stuff that will scale to a, a larger number is, a, is an important question to ask. But, yep. I mean, it's a, you know, it's a fun problem to have. You know, surf that wave why it's why it's coming. Um, if wave. you do need to break into... You know, middle school and high school on different nights. That is a major decision. Yeah, it's a major it's a decision for you as the primary leader. It puts for you out another night of the week, um, and you may be in a position where you you can do that. It um, it would create space in your room for your room to grow, but you're going to have to double the number of leaders that you have. Mm -hmm. I'd get commitments ahead of time for that. I wonder if you split, but you kind of did an overlap thing where you did middle school small groups first, then you did overlap large, and then did high school small groups mm, yeah. after. Cool. Maybe yeah. did a little so overlap. A 180 so you Church got, on the Move does that. Do they? They used yeah. to. So they, you've got school kind stuff. of a split happening, but then you've got good overlap time. You know, I don't think, I think it matters for middle school if you do them before or after. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You probably get yeah. a similar response. So. Well, and high school students staying out later if it's the evening program. Totally. Easy. Yeah. That's totally. Good. That's you a good. You have a little trouble with if you have parents, junior high and yeah, high school. Yeah, junior high and high school. There's definitely some things to think through, but. Sure. But maybe the trade off's totally worth it. And too. maybe some of the high school students could come and lead middle school small groups beforehand. That's cool. Now you're Man, talking. Large yeah. group. I want her. I would love to work in a church. That's good stuff. The I mean, serving angle there. I think if you do make a change that's a drastic either to a different night or decentralized or something something of that nature, uh, numbers will go down. And don't let that discourage you. I yeah. mean, I think be, the be ready for that because... Every change has a cost. Every, every change has a cost. Oh, I heard and every so rose has a thorn. <laughs> Oh, speaking that's of right. heavy metal, that's right. <laughs> that's more like glam rock. Yeah, yeah, that's about the heaviest metal I've ever listened to. Which Christian. is really sad. Well, well. And homeschool. <laughs> yeah. Were you allowed to listen uh, to sex music? No, never. Did I ever no, tell no, you no. I had Thanksgiving dinner with Poison? You did not. I did. It was six months before they were big. I had just burnt my house down in eighth grade. Love that. And Mom's still alive at this point. No. 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 Oh, sorry. Close, though. No, and so we were having Thanksgiving with uh, um, my dad's ex-stepwife, who had a younger daughter that was dating Brett Michaels, and he came over. That is not real. I'm totally serious. And these guys, yeah. yeah but it was so funny, funny yeah, because be it was anyway. Brett Michaels and, like, the drummer, and I can't remember who the name was. Slash. But these guys came in, and they were, like, total long hair, you know, freaks. You're like, who are these guys? And they came, basically basically opened a bag and said, we're huge in Tokyo, and poured out all these magazines that had poison in Tokyo. I'm like, who are these guys? That is awesome. And then six months later, every rose has a thorn. That's wow. awesome. Yeah. Incredible. I'm not sure I've ever heard that How story, and I feel heard like I've story? heard every one of your stories. Three times. Three yeah. this year. Yeah. yeah, no, it was... It was um, 
Yeah. That's no, incredible. And actually, I say Thanksgiving. Yeah, it was Thanksgiving. It was Thanksgiving dinner. So. Wow. With poison. With poison. Two out of the four poisons. So it wasn't all four. <laughs> what are you doing it this was Thanksgiving? Two. It was <laughs> half a poison. It was half a poison. One Direction's so. coming over. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> Thanksgiving dinner. Keisha Gordon from War Acres, Oklahoma. I've been the youth pastor of a small church for three years. The church is four years old. And since the church has begun, the youth have met in the sanctuary on Wednesday nights. And the adults have small groups in other places, homes, etc. Last May, we were given a 25 by 50 foot building. Okay. So like maybe a, a little bigger than our garage. That's so a rectangle. <laughs> nice, man. Um, as we've been remodeling the I've church. I've been helping Max and Mark with math lately. Oh, uh, there good. we go. Yeah. Okay, good. Are they passing? <laughs> <laughs> Wow! What? Nicely done. <laughs> wow! Hey, but let's pause for this one. Okay. That was good. You know yeah. I don't make fun of you very Katie. often, but your daughter spelled Jesus wrong. Lisas. Lisas. Backwards J. Backwards J. I, yeah, I know. No, job that's Lisa. Wrong. Backwards J is a backwards well, J. In her heart, it was right. Uh, yeah. It's all in matter. reading, it was not great. Yeah. It was well, a little that's off. not what the Calvinist yeah. would say, but yeah. rather. <laughs> And, no, and that's her, not a spelling error. And her, backwards J her is dad's that. a teacher. Yeah. 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 Only to fourth grade, though. We only go to fourth grade in our house. Oh, are you smarter than a fourth grade? Actually, no. Nope. That's, that's yeah, we're not. Right fourth there. grade. Than a fifth grader. Okay, our plan has been to use this room as a youth building, but funds and time have been limited to work on it. Since September, we have more than doubled our Wednesday night attendance from 7 to 20. A lot of numbers in these emails. And should be able to use our new building by April. My fear is that we'll stop growing because our space will be half of what we've been in the church sanctuary. How do I beat the numbers game before we hit a bump in the growth? I've thought about splitting, um, but we don't have a happy meeting. We have a fifth and sixth grade through eighth grade, ten. Oh, we have five, sixth through eighth grade, ten in ninth grade, and five, ten through twelfth grade. Please, all yes. caps, give suggestions on how I could best use this free space and not miss out on the growth spurt that I am having. See the question before. So we just answered this one, right? Mm, I don't, Different? I think this... What did we talk about before? <laughs> space, space question. Spelling. <laughs> Yeah, it's got it's it's a little bit different because the dynamics of you know there is a, a perceived momentum in numbers. Oh yeah, space and question. if you if you split this one up and you've got five kids in sixth through eighth grade, you know you're you're changing the dynamics of what they're experiencing Definitely. on that Wednesday totally. night because then there's another. It looks like so the uh, space they're moving into is smaller. She said. Yeah, half yeah. the size of the. Well, the principle of space is the more crowded, the better. Yeah. So even in a sanctuary, if you have the opportunity to meet in a sanctuary and you have enough kids to sit on stage, mm -hmm. I'd sit them on the stage and put couches around the stage. So mm -hmm. to me, I think, I mean, I'm looking at this garage and going, okay, if this is garage is the size of your, your, you know, we could get a, I mean, we're, we're inviting 50 people <laughs> yeah, exactly. to come sit in here, and it's messy. If this thing was was clean, which oh, hopefully, hopefully Josh will do before May. <laughs> Where is she from? Uh, War Acres, Oklahoma. Oh. You know. Oh, yeah. All right, next yeah. to the Tulsa. Yeah. So I think my feeling, Keisha, not seeing the place, is you got plenty of room. And I would jam as so many people. But maybe she does games and stuff like that. Moves well, maybe there's around, other spaces. You know. That's why I asked where she was from. Is there other spaces that maybe you can utilize for game time or something like that? Like maybe yeah. your room is the couches for kind of the more the teaching time or the small group time or whatever that is. And yeah. then if there's like you know a patio or some you know some yeah. outdoor yeah. space when the weather's nice or whatever to do some of the more active stuff. Yeah, could be cool. That's good. You know, Katie, if we were given prizes for most most valuable <laughs> podcast person, you'd oh, get yeah. it today. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, you'd get it most time. Thank you. But I just thought, here. It's <laughs> awesome. Helping teenagers in crisis from you specialties. Thank you. Can have you. That. Thank Must have <laughs> leading students from leader tracks. Thanks. You can have that. Thank you. And Vivid from <sighs> Youth Ministry 360. You can have. Oh, and you know what? I, I want to copy that myself. I want to invite you to Youth Specialties uh, Unconference. The unconference. Yeah, it's next Thursday. But there's 12 of them happening around the country. So way go to different YS than hanging out at Unconference.com. Yeah, it is different because you can get something. Like oh, you that. have a little. You, go. <laughs> you got it. So do you, Matt, right here? <laughs> Seriously. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, I love you guys. Right. Wait, that's it's it? great to be with you. Yeah, we're wow. over our 40 minute time limit. Oh, wow, all right. Yeah, yeah great hanging out. out of here. I got things to do. Good this to see you. This is particularly <laughs> rambling, <laughs> edited show. Are we do, really going to edit that We part? need to talk about editing afterwards. <laughs> okay. Hey, speaking of which, look, I can't be expected to know the demographics of all diseases. <laughs> I thought that was for the win. Yep. That was a great That movie. should be the title of the show. <laughs> but here, wait, wait, wait before you shut up, we we've been talking about going live. What do we need oh. to go live? We need one thousand internet dollars <laughs> oh. to move it out of this garage. No, we the internet, we Easter. have it. No, don't we? Easter. All, all churches do good things on speed. Easter. They launch stuff on Easter. So Easter oh, Sunday, we will rise again. What would what would an internet cost us? Here? It could be like a little bit, maybe. Love talk to our awesome sponsor. We can get it a little bit. Won't be much more. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta you gotta go to Fiber Channel or something. Yeah. All right, let's make that happen. Yeah. I want to do live because I want to I want to get just phone lived calls. In Oklahoma yeah. where they got to do live. Oh, Fiber phone Skype calls, calls on our flat screen. To yeah. Yeah. Type in. yeah. 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 I think stuff. I think when we get to show um, two twenty five, we need to have a whole new I think Benchmark. table. I think we have wow. need to yeah. It's time to it felt. It's time to reinvent ourselves a little bit. I mean, stay in the garage. But the li- let's reinvent <laughs> ourselves. The live show, Seth we should have a fax machine. So chest. people see <laughs> fax us, whatever they want. Finding fax us on the live show. Wait, what? We have a dedicated fax line. If you're a, a you know, s- subscriber to the live show, yeah. you can fax in whatever hey, you, do you need to fax do, do you need to do, do like a Kickstarter and make, I don't a, know. make yeah. an internet yeah. live show? Want. Yeah, because I want to go live. The 50 people that come, we can, have, we can, we can hit them up with Take a donation. Love offering. Let's not charge them $29 instead of 19 there you go. There you it's go. 19 no. bucks. What a steal. Yeah. What a steal. Yeah. I don't even know. It's a dollar an hour. It's less than a dollar an hour. It's less than a dollar an hour. Fine. Okay. It's cheap. You guys are the best. You guys, you guys are cheap wonderful. Date. Sorry about that. And, uh, okay. Yeah. Sorry for Bye, friends. <laughs> I'm not sorry for me at all. That's right. <laughs>